Hey guys, it's Tom here with MYT Solar. I got another walkthrough video here today. Pretty excited for this one because this is our flagship build. One of the biggest solar systems you've probably seen on an outdoors RV. We've got a whopping 2400 watts on the roof and we have 600 amp hours of battery, which it's at there actually 24 volt batteries. It's 24 volt system. So basically the equivalent of 1200 amp hours at 12 volts and 2400 watts. Nice big system, Victron batteries, really, really cool. Excited to show you this one. One of the biggest installs you can get on an outdoors RV. It's what we have on our personal rig. We're excited that this customer finally has, has it on theirs. So they're the first customer to have it. It's pretty exciting. Just like all our other outdoors RV builds, bulk of the batteries and the components go under the bed. One of the differences with our flagship 24 volt system is that we actually relocate the leveling controller and we clear the bed out, get rid of the shoe cubby. As you can see, it's been battened off right there just to give us more room for a much bigger system. And we're really liking how these ones are turning out. Here it is under the bed. Let me show you, we've, we've set up a little relay on the servo here on the touch 50. So I can come to the touch panel here, which is on the, in the hallway. And we've set up some nice lights again. As I was saying, this is a, a 24 volt system. So we've got three of the Victron 24 volt batteries. Each battery is 200 amp hours. So that's 600 amp hours. But again, remember, we're, because we're at a 24 volt system, if we're thinking amp hours in the classic sense, if this was a 12 volt system, 600 amp hours would actually be 1200 amp hours. So it's a 600 amp hour system, but it's the capacity of 1200 amp hours. And you can convert it into watt hours and figure out the difference. But a Victron systems, one of the nice things about these Victron batteries is their profile. So you can see the size of these batteries. That's a 200 amp hour battery right there, but 400 usable amp hours in one of those batteries. Really nice form factor. We can fit three of those under here for a whopping 1200 amp hours. I know I keep saying that, but it's a lot of power. With the Victron batteries, you get the Lynx Smart BMS, which controls all, all controls the batteries externally. That's a little component that you have in there. Being a 24 volt system, Obviously everything in the coach, the lights, the max air fans, the furnace, all those stuff, it still runs on 12 volts. So we have to step that down from 24 to 12, which we do with one of, with this component right here, the Orion converter. Servo, which gives us the screen, nice big charge controller, and very really happy with how that looks under the bed there. All our flagship builds come with the Touch 70 screen, a slightly bigger screen than the Touch 50. Again, with this touch 50 screen, 70, sorry, the bigger screen, what you're gonna be able to do is you're gonna be able to dial your current limit down. So tell the MultiPlus what size breaker you're plugged into. Have all of the controls you need over here. I know we've got 2,400 watts on the roof. You're probably like, why are we only getting 300 watts? It's super cloudy here today up in Washington, but still nice to be getting 300 watts on a day like today. All our battery information, all our power usage in the coach, whether we're plugged into Sean Power, tell us what the MultiPlus is doing. And of course, with all of our builds that get the Touch 50 or Touch 70 in the servo, we have remote monitoring and support. So with this thing on the Wi-Fi, I'm able to log in and see what the system is doing and make sure it's functioning, do any updates that might need doing, and just honestly help the customer out if any, any troubleshooting goes on. I'll show you on the roof, show you all the panels. So up here on the roof, we're using the Rich Solar Mega 400 watt panels. We've got six of them up here. Give us that 2400 watts. Probably not going to get 2400 watts out of these panels depending on the conditions, especially not like on a day like today. But even in a sunny day, you maybe hit 2000, you know, maybe close to 2400 watts. But the main thing is that you're over what the air conditioner is going to draw. So the air conditioner draw, might draw 1600 watts, maybe up to 1700 watts. But these in the sun are going to be giving you at least 2000. So the main thing is that you're over your air conditioner usage, you're charging the batteries and you're running the air conditioner at the same time thanks to this 2400 watts of rich solar panels. This is the 24 watt, uh, multi, 24 volt MultiPlus. You can see here, it kind of just looks exactly the same as the normal MultiPlus on 12 volt systems. This is gonna be great. With the, all that solar and all that battery power, this is gonna enable the customer to run one air conditioner at a time. Well, they could run both air conditioners at a time for a little while. They can definitely one, run one air conditioner at a time and then run the, air, run the microwave whenever they need to whilst not turning the air conditioner off. And with all that battery power, they're gonna get quite a lot of air conditioner runtime. Really stoked with this flagship build. Happy to be putting it in customers' rigs finally. What we have on our rig 
I would argue one of the biggest systems you'll find in an outdoors RV. We're really excited to be putting these in. If you'd like to like to help, let us help you with a solar project, whether it's a big flagship like this or something a little smaller, we have all our packages on our website. We specialize in outdoors RVs, but we can we'll do anything, no matter what kind of RV you have. If you want a system like this, we can make it happen. Thanks for watching. This is Tom with MYT Solar.